Είμαι ο Βασίλη Βασάλο, όπω ακούσατε. Θα μιλήσουμε για το, για το Data Science και για το μεταπτυχιακό στο Data Science. Ε, το πρόγραμμά μα είναι αγγλόφωνο και γι' αυτό και εγώ θα μιλήσω στα αγγλικά για το πρόγραμμα. Um, so, thank you all for being here. Um, the, so, what is Data Science? Um, let's start from that, given that uh, our program is in an area of uh, scientific inquiry that's uh, relatively new. Um, data science is an interdisciplinary area um, that uh, rests on three pillars, um, computing and computer science, and especially the parts of computer science related to data management and artificial intelligence, statistics, and the area, the domain of um, specialization and of application. So in that sense, data science in the abstract is a scientific field, but there is data science in biology, in medicine, in marketing, in sales, in human resource management, in strategy, in uh, finance, etc., etc. So um, data science deals with uh, the making, the analysis, the deep analysis and manipulation of data so that we can make uh, better decisions, we can extract insights, uh, we can identify root causes of problems so that we can extract knowledge out of the vast reams of data uh, modern applications and modern life uh, generate and modern business generate. So um, what we want to do is answer questions, develop explanations and predictive models and communicate the, wor the work in, uh, and the results in revealing ways. So um, what uh, data science helps with is it helps make better every area of scientific and um, economic endeavor. So it's a key driver of improvements to business where strategy is really helped by data-driven decision making, operations, specifically customer service, customer relationship management, workflows are all helped by better understanding of the data and better understanding of the drivers of, of people's decisions, choices, um, and uh, difficulties, especially when processes are becoming more and more online. Um, marketing and sales have really been revolutionized by computational advertising, by scoring, by being able to uh, offer more personalized offerings based on people's preferences for every online product. Um, finance has been at the forefront of what we today call um, data science, which has very close relationship to financial engineering, to many aspects of financial engineering, um, other areas such as human resource management, etc. Even more, um, even more importantly, uh, a lot of new products and services in the digital arena are really powered by and driven by um, data science. So things like um, aggregating the information of um, ships. Uh, worldwide, which is what a very uh, successful Greek startup uh, called Marine Traffic is doing, is, is really driven to a large extent by what you can find out, what you can analyze, what sort of trends you can identify, and what sort of data products you can create with all that very valuable information that they aggregate. Um, another very successful Greek startup is Polfish. Uh, Polfish is managing massive amounts of online polls and what can be useful to their uh, customers and to uh, everyone using their services is the um, quick analysis that they can provide on the huge amounts of data that they gather. So both the data gathering as well as the analytics that you can build on this data gathering fall under the guise of data science. So this is an area that is um, extremely uh, deep technically, as well as very relevant in a very wide area uh, range of businesses, functions, and uh, activities. And as such, it has seen a tremendous growth. Um, it has, data scientists has been called the sexiest profession of the 21st century. There, these are quotes from uh, major magazines and major thought leaders. So this is an area where uh, there is a lot of interest. And um, in order to get a sort of a better feel of what a data science project involves, it involves to a significant extent cleaning and organizing data, a significant, um, a, a, to a significant extent collecting data sets and creating the data sets that are important for our activities, 
building training sets, mining data for patterns, developing patterns, sorry, developing algorithms for modeling, refining them, and various other activities. So we see that there is a big part in data science that is around data, data management, data aggregation, data manipulation, etc. And um, the areas, and you probably won't be able to see that in the back, but I found that interesting, um, the scientific areas or sub-areas, the courses, if you will, that are important for um, data science are shown here in a graphic that looks like um, a subway map. So you can see fundamentals, you can see statistics, programming, machine learning, um, text mining, natural language processing, visualization, data munging and data ingestion, both under the guise of data management, um, big data, um, what am I missing? And toolbox being specific tools around each of these, each of these areas. So these are all um, areas that we treat as core courses and with multiple electives in our data science program. Um, but before I turn to the program, let me um, talk about career opportunities. This is an area where there is explosive growth, as I said, worldwide, in Europe more specifically, and even in Greece, even during the years of the deep crisis, which we hope now we're slowly getting out of, um, there, is, there has been significant growth in the demand for data scientists. There are big um, international firms that have decided to build data science hubs for their worldwide operations in Greece, like uh, Accenture, IRI, Ernst & Young, other consulting firms. And every, uh, practically every online business requires data scientists, and there is an increasing um, re realization of the value that someone with the skills that we teach in our master's program can build in every business, whether that is um, Cosmote TV, uh, or whether that is a traditional bank, um, or whether uh, that is uh, a traditional manufacturing uh, business that needs to optimize its operations. So the opportunities uh, for, uh, for employment are uh, tremendous, and um, the uh, employment of our graduates nears 100% uh, three months after graduation including those, of course, that uh, decide to go to the army or whatever. I mean, you know, all, all are necessary parts of life. But uh, three months after graduation, everybody is um, in some occupation. So uh, turning our attention to our program, the program um, is the first of its kind in the region. And uh, it still remains, now that there are also other programs in, in this area, um, a program with a uniquely deep um, curriculum and significant connection with industry. And um, these are the two aspects that we want to, fo to focus on. Our curriculum is up to date, hands on, and at the appropriate uh, depth without sacrificing breadth. And there is strong connection uh, with industry, which sometimes in Greece is, was hard to find, but ours is a program with um, international ambitions as well as international uh, focus. And so the uh, connection with business, especially in this area, is absolutely critical. It is offered by the School of Information Science and Technology in the Athens University of Economics and Business. The Athens University of Economics and Business is the most active school in Greece in the provision of graduate programs. It has the widest and deepest and longest experience. And um, this, uh, this uh, program is the flagship program for the school. It's uh, the only program offered by jointly by uh, Computer Science uh, Department of Informatics and Statistics. And students will learn from a challenging curriculum, interact with faculty members from statistics, from computing, and from industry. Um, a significant portion of uh, especially our electives are taught by people directly from industry. Complete innovative hands-on projects, both in collaboration with industry and in the context of their courses, and be exposed to industry needs and real-life data science challenges. So what's our target audience? The program is targeted, we have two programs essentially, or two uh, groups of, of um, uh, two incoming groups of students, full-time program and the part-time program, full-time students, part-time students. Um, the the, um, the full-time program is geared towards excellent recent graduates that want to get into this uh, exciting area early. Um, and uh, also to mid-career professionals who are 
um, for some reason are making a transition, maybe they're out of work and they want to give to, to make a change um, for whatever reason. Uh, but for people who are willing to commit a year of their life to learning uh, this exciting new area and getting a lot of hands-on experience. And the part-time program is geared towards uh, professionals with a few years of experience uh, that are looking to upskill, that have already strong math or technical skills and could be from anywhere, engineering, mathematics, statistics, finance, economics, operations, operations research, computer science. Um, so the, to tell you a little bit about the program, the full-time program is in one year program actually to be exact is um, around 14 months um, so it has uh, three semester three quarters of courses taught courses uh, starting at the end of September and ending in uh, mid-June and um, a three-month integrated capstone project in collaboration with industry um, that has joined academic and industrial supervision uh, where the topic itself is proposed by industry according to their needs and obviously the scientific um, aspects of it are covered by the student with the collaboration of their academic supervisor. Companies that have participated in the program in the last couple of years include uh, Eurobank, National Bank of Greece, IRI, Predicta, Workable um, and a number of uh, other bigger and smaller companies, ICAP, and, uh, many companies participate in our in our program. There is also the option of doing a traditional uh, thesis uh, with a more with a deeper scientific focus. There are people who attend our program that are interested in uh, following up with a PhD, so that is an option that is available. Tuition fees are 6000 for the full-time program. Um, the part-time program has a similar structure. It's 2 years. There is no capstone project given that people are already at work and um, it includes more elective courses. It's a fully taught program, uh, taught twice a week, 6 to 9 p.m. at a standard time, day and time, so that people can combine it easily with their uh, work. Um, this is the list of our uh, core courses. There is a specific number of core courses, and as you can see, it covers the areas that we saw earlier in the um, subway diagram. Um, including though legal, eth ethical and policy issues in data science, a topic that I consider very important for future professionals in the area. There are a ton of issues, as you probably know, around Facebook's use of data, around GDPR, around uh, breaches, uh, data breaches that lead to leaking of sensitive personal information. People need to be, professionals need to be not only informed but educated and instructed um, and exposed to these issues. There is a long list of electives that people can take, deep learning, data mining, applied customer analytics, data science for medicine, social network analysis, statistical methods, etc., etc., both in the two scientific pillars as well as in um, application areas, as we, as we already discussed. And um, I won't go into the, uh, so much into the faculty teaching in the program. It's a, re a veritable who is who of the best people in, uh, in Greece for their areas of expertise and the topics in which they teach. Um, it includes people with significant positions in industry, uh, significant positions in research, etc. Um, when it comes to admissions are open, um, I urge you and uh, all to apply early. We will make um, decisions as early as applications as received. We do not, um, we are not going to wait for the end of the application period to start looking at applications and even offering admissions. Um, the application packet is as you would expect it. If you've listened to other um, talks, it's the expected stuff. You need to fill out an application, have recommendation letters, strong uh, grades for the full-time program are very important. Experience in the part-time program is important. Uh, the basic requirements are exposure to and some knowledge of uh, quantitative, qu quantitative methods uh, for, uh, for data analysis or in general quantitative methods, as well as some programming without any experience in programming this program is going to be a bit tougher. You can have that through work, you can have it through online learning, you can have it from a school, but you need to, you need to have it to be a credible candidate. And um, as I said, I urge you all to apply. Uh, we have a booth upstairs for more information. We will have two information days 
at the university. One is this Monday and um, the other will be in early in mid-May. Um, the applications are until May 31st. And I thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.